Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with Mama Pappas <laughs> and she's joining me today for our Shake Shack mukbang. We ordered a bunch of new things and we're gonna be trying them all. Mm -hmm. So we have some new milkshakes. There's a donut shake, snickerdoodle shake, and a hot cocoa shake, which sounds delicious. Look at the little mini marshmallows. Yeah, that one's my favorite. <laughs> and then we got little chicken bites. That's my mom's favorite. These are cheesy bacon fries. Check those out. The barbecue sauce goes with these. So um, these are Korean spicy mm. fries with barbecue. Those look spicy. Mmm. I know. I'm curious. I'm so curious. Mmm. They're good? Yeah. Not too spicy. Just a good flavor. Mm hmm and then we got their two new Korean sandwiches. This one has barbecue, fried onion straws on it. That one looks good. I know. And then this one has a honey on it with some sesame seeds, it looks like. I know there's some kimchi on here. So we're going to be trying these out today. Okay. <laughs> what do you want to do first? <laughs> Let's do a thumbnail first. Mom hasn't been on no camera gosh. in a while. It's been a long time. It has. <laughs> So I had you guys ask some questions too. So what do you want me to hold? You could hold up the milkshakes. All of them. And then she got some honey lemonade tea. Yeah, I'm gonna try that. Yeah. <laughs> it's dripping. My burger? Something was No, not on my clothes. <laughs> like it drips. So hard to eat in your car, you guys. It is. I it's don't... so messy. This is a lot of work. <laughs> I want some of these fries. So There's... we are up here today. I have a return to do at Anthropology. I ordered a bunch of stuff for vacation and I actually don't like any of it besides I kept one dress and then I kept some gold hoop earrings. But yeah, I'm returning like the whole order and it just like didn't look like how it looked like online. Mm -hmm. So we might as well return it. So right. going there and then we're going to stop in Trader Joe's and get home before the weather takes a turn. Mm -hmm. I know, right now we're in a plaza. It's a heat wave, it's in the 30s. Mm -hmm. And it's raining and there's just people walking out, shopping, like no one cares. <laughs> we got some. Everyone's used to the Ohio weather. Mayo packets. Do you need a fork? No, I'm good. I like getting messy. Look at all that seasoning. Let's see. I really like that seasoning. So that's, I think, what's on the burger, mm. too. Mm hmm. Reminds me of, um, like popcorn seasoning. Mm hmm. Or, like, what's that stuff you use sometimes? What is that? Tahine? Tahine? I never use tahine. Or what's that stuff in the, the bottle? That I use? Like a shaker, yeah. Um, I don't know. Like a sriracha seasoning, kind of? Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Tahine. Mm. I, I don't really like tahine. When I went to Mexico, they were putting tahine rims on lots of the drinks, and I wasn't a fan. But I know people like putting it on their fruit. Or like a little chili powder. Mm hmm. Yeah. Those are good. That's good seasoning. Oh, no. I lost a mail packet. <laughs> <laughs> Save it for later. There's lots of stuff underneath my car seat. Yeah, I've been finding lots of stuff. I know, french fries. A little bit of everything. Let's try the nuggets. They kind of look like Chick-fil-A's nuggets. Mm -hmm. Bigger, honestly. Yeah, they are bigger. I, saw, I made... Hmm? No, I saw someone put the, the nuggets in, or they're grilled in like a kale salad on Chick-fil-A. Supposed hmm. to be good. Yeah. With, with the hot sauce. Healthy. Mm -hmm. I... Cannot stand kale. I'll try one of these burgers. It's getting warm in here with all this food. Okay, I'll try this one first. I like the coating. Mmm. That's good. I forgot how good Shake Shack's Is burgers are. Is that the are. one with the onion straws? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you want to try it? Crispy. Yeah, I want an onion straw. Those are my favorite. I'd steal them off Dad's burgers at Red Robin. Mm -hmm. I know, you take them all, <laughs> and he'd give them all to you. Mm -hmm. That was really good. I like how crispy their burgers are. The other day I made grilled chicken. I usually hate grilled chicken. Oh yeah, that is good. 
You want to keep eating the, it? The crispy edge. Normal. So I took nice. chicken breast and I cut it up into little pieces. Seasoned it with salt, pepper, garlic powder, and a little bit of basil. And I cooked it in olive oil, like mixing it around. And it was the best chicken I've ever made. I think I'm finally getting Spice good house. at it. Spice house. Seasoning. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Whenever I cook it, I feel like it mm. tastes... Very, very, like, um... Lemony. Lemony? Yeah. Like tart. Mm. 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 You want a nugget? I'm okay. So this is the goju jang sauce. So I lost my tripod for my car, so we're using my phone. So I like screenshotted a bunch of stuff of like what was on these burgers and I can't show you guys now. But you have some questions, you wanna pull them up? Before we continue on with this video, I wanna to talk to you guys about my favorite food delivery service, HelloFresh. I have been using HelloFresh for over three years now. I literally love it. It makes cooking and learning how to cook so easy. When I'm having a busy week, I most likely don't have time to go grocery shopping and I don't know what even to cook. It's hard to come up with new recipes and stuff like that and by the time you go to the store and buy all of those ingredients you're spending over a hundred dollars and that's not even getting you that many meals i get my boxes delivered weekly and i choose which meals i want they have such a big selection tonight for dinner let's make this one spicy maple chicken each hello fresh box is packed with farm fresh ingredients and everything arrives pre-portioned right to your doorstop for less hassle and less wasted food. And in the kitchen, don't let recipe boredom strike because HelloFresh has more options than ever before. Dig into their biggest menu yet with over 45 dinner options to choose from weekly and even more market add-on items that suit any lifestyle. And I know this time of year, everyone's trying to revamp their eating habits and you can look to HelloFresh's wholesome health forward options like over 30 calorie smart and protein smart recipes each week. And I do have a great coupon code to share with you guys. You can go to HelloFresh.com and use my code STEPHPAPISFREE for free breakfast for life. And that is one breakfast item per box while subscription is active. And that's STEPHPAPISFREE at HelloFresh.com for free breakfast for life. Thank you HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. And after dinner today, I have some lunch for tomorrow. Yeah, where's... I want to get a napkin here. Mmm. Love My the buns buried in here. Ah! I dropped another one. <laughs> you need awesome. those side pockets. I know my car eats everything. Dang it. Same with my couch. I seriously lose my remote for my Apple TV that you got me. The remote is so skinny. I yeah. lose it in the couch every single day. <laughs> every single day. And then I have to tear the part of couch and then I just find a bunch of dog. No, bones. I've seen those things they fit in here. They mm -hmm. catch stuff. That's two packets I just dropped. <laughs> Can you not reach it? No, my hands are too too big. Your hand maybe could fit in there. Yeah, I was gonna do a little what dad does. <laughs> Mayonnaise on some fries. Oh my hand can't go down there either. I might have another one in the bag. Don't mind my gray hairs. <laughs> I have some gray hairs too. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Mine are in the back. I have like five over here. My hairdresser always tells me. All right, well, someone asked what made me choose Stephanie as your name. And I think you've mentioned this before, but... Yeah, for anyone new or, do or doesn't know. Well, I always liked Nicholas and Nicole. And my first, obviously, I had Nick first, so then I couldn't You name. didn't know if he was a girl or a boy, right? Until you had him? Right. Why? We didn't want to find out. Really? Yeah, we wanted to be surprised. Wow. So, I don't think I... So then you just had, like, a gender-neutral baby yeah. room? Yeah. So, after I named him Nicholas, I thought I couldn't name Nicole. That was too much. So then I always liked Stevie Nicks, and her name was Stephanie. Like, that name just always stuck to, to us. So, mm -hmm. um, when she was born, she looked like Stephanie. So that's what we named her. And my middle name is Maria. Maria, yeah. <laughs> and yours is Marie. Right. Mm. <laughs> I'm the more Greek version of it. My mother-in-law was like, no, it needs to be Maria. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> so, <sighs> Stephanie Maria. All right, let's see what else we got here. Yeah, if me and Nick, if I was Nicole and Nick was Nick, it would be confusing. Because my nickname would probably be like Nicky or right. Nick. 
Right. <laughs> so and I always like twins. And I didn't have any other names for. I just always like Nicholas, and then here it happens to be one of the most popular Greek boy names. But I just for some reason always liked it. You know, in school I didn't know any other Nicks. And he's he's a Nick. Yeah, he definitely looks like his yeah, name. It's, I don't it's, think it's I really him. look like my name. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why. I, I think I look more like a Nicole. <laughs> Alright, so the next... I don't know what I'll name my kids. Let's see what else we got here. Nicole would be cute. What inspired your mom to start cooking, making her own recipes? Um, well, my mom always cooked at home, made homemade meals. So I always used to kind of watch her, help her a little bit in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And then... Back before, like, Instagram and all, like, TikTok stuff, I used to always watch, like, Rachel Ray, Elmo Lagasse, like, all the Food Network Rachel people. Ray is the one with the Frenchies, right? Yeah, Martha Stewart, yeah. Mm. So I always, you know, was saving recipes, cookbooks, all that. So I feel like I've had it in me forever. Um, I think because I grew up watching you. Yeah. I, I mean, like I when I was dating John, your dad... I mean, I mailed him cookies. He lived in New him. York, at as um, what what do they even what do they call that? Like baggage loading onto the airplane. He used to work for U.S. Air, and he did like the baggage. So he got like on flights. the run on the runway. So he would fly home every week to visit me. We started and dating, and then within like a few months, he had he took this job, and then he moved to New York for nine months and then he would fly home every week to see me but i would send him send him food Cookies in the mail and you know? <laughs> make him spaghetti when he comes home yeah so and how did i start making a sourdough um i actually started just the same thing through instagram like i saw people on there doing it uh and I yeah just you can kinda... learn a lot from it's yeah. so easy when you can watch someone make it right rather than just reading a recipe book yeah, I'm more of a visual learner, so seeing people do it, I mm -hmm. can learn learn it easy that way. And now it's just, you know, I've always enjoyed making bread and stuff, so it's just something different to do. And it's bussin' bussin'. <laughs> <laughs> For breakfast, she brings me over a big sourdough loaf stuffed with garlic. So, that was my breakfast. <laughs> yeah. Wanna yeah. taste test some of those milkshakes? Oh, yeah. There, I got extra straws. Mm, I am chowing down. This is delish. I forgot how good Shake Shack was. I just had a burger the other day, so I was like, do I want to get Shake Shack? But we don't have one near where we live, so I'm like, okay, this is right by where we're going. And I saw that they came out with these milkshakes. I'm like, those look delicious. Which one do you want to do first? I think the hot cocoa. Do you want to sip it first? I got an extra straw. Okay. I'm prepared. <laughs> she doesn't like sharing with me. Me and Dad, if you watch Dad's video of us doing Shake Shack, we were sharing straws. Or we were not sharing straws back then. So. Mm. That is, like, so good. Mm. Right? Isn't it, like, a thousand calories? <laughs> Yeah, I think that's like 900 or something. That would be addicting. Oh, wow, that's good. I got the size small, though, so maybe not. Maybe it's like half of that. Oops, dripped. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> really good with the little marshmallows. I think they'd be cute if they toasted them. Yeah. Looks like they're just like maybe... It'd be cute with like some ch chocolate syrup, too. That would be really good. This might be... The gingerbread? I'm not sure. Let's just taste it and see. Mmm. Which one was it? I think this is Snickerdoodle. Yeah. It has like little cinnamon crunchy bits on top. I might like that one more. They are, they are good with their shakes. Like, Shake Shack. That's why they're called it. Shake Shack. Super creamy milk shake. Like whatever ice cream or custard they're using is good. It's good, but I think this one's too like, it's really like, sweet. It's like kind of tastes like a sugar cookie. It's it is very sweet. sweet. I think I like sweet I like the stuff. Hot, I like the hot cocoa. Ever since I started getting crumble cookies a lot, I think it made me like sweets more. Because before I used to always say I didn't really like sweets. Now I think I D do. Dad would say the same thing and he'd be eating sweets every <laughs> night. <laughs> he'd be craving something sweet. So, <laughs> yeah. All right. I like the crunchy things. I'm so. this replica. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she does. 
me and my son have more similar food preferences. We're like all about the chicken. Yeah, you guys like not as salmon much sauces. Or... Yeah, them the mayo, the barbecue, pasta. Sauce, yeah, pasta. burgers with like tons of Where sauce. We don't really crave pasta. Like I'm Italian. <laughs> mm. You're not that much. <gasps> this one's really good too. <laughs> Okay, if I had to choose which one I want to finish, this one. Which one was this? Donut one? coffee shake. Oh, the donut one. That's like really good. It's more vanilla y with like that hint of coffee. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah, Dad, would I like this one? You can have that one. I'll have the hot cocoa. <laughs> yeah, I like that one. I think the name is the cutest too donut coffee shake. It'd be cute if they had like a little donut on top. I know. You need a bakery. Someone else asked that question too. Because your presentation. Yeah, I'm all about the pre I'm all about the presentation. I used and to that's make like you and your the neighbor boy used to come over. Mm hmm And I used to give them those little which back then was similar to like a bento box. Cause like those oh, little yeah, lunch, the lunch, lunch trays, trays with the cubbies. Yeah. And why don't you like he had a peanut allergy, so I would always make a mistake them. And that was like the greatest thing. I was just thing. thinking about those the other day. I have not had one since oh, I think I, I you lived guys were, with you. You guys were obsessed with steak -ums. Yeah. And then that was like fancy to him because he could not, you know. Oh, steak -ums with mayo were so good. Yeah. And she'd always put like, oops, I'm just <laughs> That's a thing Dad would always do in our videos too. <laughs> he was always spitting. And then I would edit it in slow motion. <laughs> uh, she would put like, whenever she'd make me like a grilled cheese, she'd do a heart-shaped mustard on the side. Yeah, or the Weedables. Oh yeah. With the cheese. Oh Weedables. I would put like X's. They and don't have those on anymore. No. Wheat thins now. Yeah. I know. I always get a question a lot. I see this one a lot, asking if we're gonna move in together. No. <laughs> no. I you mean, don't want to live with me. I mean, I you have your 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 twenty three years old like, I know who wants their 53 year old mother living with them? we live you very I mean? close and I just feel like there's no privacy like you know she's still 23 like I'd be invading in your space you'd be probably too loud for me and I would probably be <laughs> yeah our routines are I yeah. definitely like having friends I'm over very and a being a routine. loud yeah, yeah my routine is different all the time yeah and I'm I'm definitely a very routine person and my three maniac dogs running around <laughs> yeah they were I got like no sleep last night they were actually snoring that loud and I played this YouTube video and it was it's like soothing music to help anxiety I don't know and it's... put you in like a REM sleep and I don't know if it made me not be able to sleep they had the worst gas like it, it's it smells like rotten eggs. Like it's you you literally makes your eyes tear. <laughs> no, it's not that bad. It is bad when you, when you have three of them doing it. You no, know? you know I don't think it's Hershey that much. It's mochi. Yeah, they. It's mochi. You have to like cover your mouth. Mm -hmm. But mochi the other day just was farting all night long and it reeked. Oh, I so, know. So bad. Like, I went to the bathroom and then I came back into my bedroom and I'm like, oh my gosh. And, and I'm I just like, like you start soaking smelling into like it. them. I know. And I'm then in the morning, as soon as Mochi wakes up, she's like gagging in my bed. I'm like, no, no, no. I pick her up, put her down on the hardwood floor. She pukes up a whole entire poop. Yes. So she, she was. Did, she did that in my house. She was farting all night. That's like, disgusting. I mean, she did that. I was like, what the? Because normally. Dog, it looks like a mound or one like a pile. And it literally was like the shape of a dog poop. I don't know why they they eat that because Cookie never did anything gross, really. Mm. You know. Oh, these are good. Yeah, I like those. Ooh, I like I the feel like they would be good in like a little salad. Yeah, I don't know. Some dogs just do that. I've talked to the vet about it. I mean, yeah, it's, it's fine. It's not like it causes any. Harm. Right. She's the only one that does it. But her, she used to do. Yeah, it. she used. To, maybe she'll grow out of it. Mm -hmm. She's still one. She's a baby. She's just a little baby. And then someone asked if I would be getting a dog, which I think eventually I will. But like right now, I feel like her dogs keep me busy. And then my parents have needed more care. They're like elderly, so 
that takes a lot of my time when I go visit them and help with stuff with them. So yeah, cause we don't live close to everyone. Yeah, so, so then by the time you like get up there and stuff, that's already like two and a half hours. Right. And I just, yeah, like, but I'd babysit it whenever. I love dogs. Oh yeah, you're definitely because for the amount of times I'm watching, you're three. Oh, I would love to. Yeah. Like, I don't know what I'd want though. I mean, I do see like those, like rescue videos mm -hmm. of dogs, and then like I feel like if I would maybe go that route mm -hmm. versus getting like a, a puppy, puppy or something, you know? Yeah, um, I think you would really like that. And I don't know what. Yeah, because I feel like even would breed. Yeah. Um, I I don't know. I just feel like I'd have to like. I think I would know. You just have to yeah go and see one, and just by the way it looks at you, you know. Right. Like that's how I felt with Hershey when I met her. I'm like, she's my baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're just a Frenchie family. <laughs> I like so many people around me have them. It's just they're everywhere. <laughs> yeah. They're funny dogs though. They definitely are high maintenance. They're more needy, I think. Um, they're very attached to their owners. Frenchies have to be like on top of you 24 seven. Right. Which well, I'm Cookie, sure there's other breeds that are like that too, but. Right, cause Cookie wasn't like that. I mean, she'd come up and like put her face, you know, mm -hmm. for attention, but she wasn't one like Super these cuddly. guys, they're just like <laughs> pawing at you. Like, you know, you um, pet them and you sit with them and then they're just nonstop. I know, like, or more. like the two are like on me and then her, she just comes up and like, <laughs> has to be like in my face <laughs> all the bruises on me from them climbing all oh, over I me no me too <laughs> yeah. i know because they're they're i mean what 30 pounds yeah so yeah. all together when i walk all three <laughs> around my waist that's 90 pounds i'm pulling oh yeah toffee i just weighed her the other day she was 16 pounds yeah she's so she's getting bigger yeah she's yeah. she's cute though she is. Well, is so that all the questions? Pretty much. I feel like a lot of them are similar with the baking stuff. So, yeah. Um, well, thanks for joining in today's mukbang. I'm yeah. sure everyone, everyone in the comments has been wanting to see you. So I'm sure they will be happy for this video. <laughs> yep, I'm still here. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you all so much for watching. If you want to see baking content from my mom, her Instagram will be down below. But hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video. And I'll see you all next time. Bye. See ya. <laughs>